Hey guys, welcome to this video. Been getting a lot of messages lately asking me how to repartition it, their drive without losing any data. Now you can do this in Windows Vista and Windows 7. Uh, there's a, a little trick you can do in there to actually repartition the drive without losing any of the data. The problem is with Windows XP, you can still do it, but you would have to use a piece of software, something like Partition Magic, that will allow you to. Uh, resize the drive without losing any of your data. So let's have a little look at the uh, procedure on here. It's been covered on YouTube quite a bit but I just wanted to make a quick video to show them how to do it. So here we have our uh, C drive and I've got a D drive here as well. So I'm going to nick some space from my D drive. Okay, and There is data inside here. I'm going to repartition it and make another partition here. Okay, And it's pretty simple. So all we need to do is right click on computer and go to manage this will open up this box here we need to go to disk management and then once you get here you've got your two drives down here your C and your D it's one drive but it's been partitioned now why is the reasons why we want to do this well a good reason for doing it would be the case that you can keep all your data on one partition and if the C drive needs to be formatted at any time then you can format it maybe a virus or something like that you can format it put windows back on and all your data will be safe still on your D drive okay that's the most important uh, reason why and another reason why is because PC World curries people like these will build computers nowadays and put terabyte drives in them and they just want make one C drive with you know 800 gigabytes of space or you know a big one drive and that's no good to anyone because um, they can't utilize that space but you can do that in Vista and, Exp uh, in Vista and Windows 7 so that's the reasons why. So okay, let's get started. We've got your D drive here. I'm just going to right click on D drive, uh, shrink volume. This will allow us to shrink this volume. Now I'm just going to do a quick small uh, size here, as you can see, and the amount of size to shrink the volume. Okay, so we're just going to put 10,000 in here, and that's going to make a 10 gig partition. Click on shrink and that should give us some unallocated space which is now just under 10 gigs okay so now what we need to do is right click on this uh, bit of space here and create a new simple volume go next go next and uh, go next again now this is going to give us the actual drive letter F now if you want to make your own drive letters you can do as long as it isn't uh, clashing with any of the other ones that you've used already okay so go next and then we've got the volume now this is where you can put your name your volume label say for instance I call mine backup it's as simple as that and it's going to leave the tick in perform a quick for format and this will actually prepare the drive ready for use so I'm just going to quickly go like that and there we have our new drive just being formatted shouldn't take too long there we go healthy and working so let's open up our computer now and as you can see there is our new partition ready for use okay so that's how you do it so let me show you just how to remove this partition if you didn't want it and you want to put it back into your D drive well you can do that also you can actually right click on here on the drive that you just created we don't want to shrink it this time we want to delete the volume click yes this will actually delete the volume and leave unallocated space again so what we want to do now is click on our D drive or the drive that you want to suck this unallocated space up to right click here okay and extend the volume and this will suck up this 10 gigs of space let's go next and as you can see it in there click finish and the D drive is now sucked that 10 gigs back okay and it's as simple as that really Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. If you enjoyed my videos, please remember, show your support. Hit that subscribe button, guys. Um, also, if you've got any problems with your computers, the link's down at the bottom uh, for the forums. You can get over there and post your problems on the forum. And we've got some guys over there that will help you out and get your problems fixed for free. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye for now.